Welcome back to my YouTube channel where I was supposed to upload every other day but then I went to San Francisco for League of Legends World Finals at a very last minute notice and I forgot to schedule YouTube videos. So hi, I've probably been like over a week since my last video. I've missed you guys. But in today's video, sorry for my long spiel, we're gonna get into how to go and take your Twitch clips and then turn them into an audio alert. Like this or like Twitch event alert. So adding clips or just videos in general as audio alerts is super fun and super easy to do actually. And it adds a lot more personality and spice into your stream. Before we do that, real quick, it would mean so much to me if you like I was told by other YouTube girl, not told. I watched other YouTube videos and these YouTube gurus said to put the call to action in the beginning. So it would mean the world to me. Also, if you're new here, my whole shtick is doing streaming advice and I'm super passionate about teaching people how to get started with streaming and how to make content creation a full-time career. Alongside that, I also do digital art. So if you're interested in art and Etsy stuff like that, I got you. So let's get into how to go get this audio alert thing to actually work. So first and foremost here, this is all my Twitch accounts. You need to grab your clip. Now, a lot of times people are like, oh, I don't don't know what would be a good audio alert, I would recommend look under your popular clips and just scroll to see if there's anything that anybody has clipped that is somewhat interesting or could be funny or something that you said out of pocket. So for me, I have this very unfortunate clip of me about two years ago. Yeah, see? Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> so we could take that and turn this into a clip. So first and foremost, I already have this clip. I'm just gonna go and copy the URL and we're gonna want to download it. I do need to do a little bit of editing to this because I want to do some cropping, but we're gonna get to that. To download, I use this site called clipper.xyz. You can use any clip downloading sites. It doesn't really matter which site you use. We're just gonna go and hit download, make sure it downloads like so. And now we're going to want to open our editing program of choice. It really doesn't matter what program you're doing this, if this is something you want to do. And by that, I mean, if you want to crop your video. So I want to do some cropping. If you don't need to do cropping, you don't have to worry about this, but I'm going to open up my Premiere Pro real quick. And I'm going to go and just make a new project. Everything looks good. So let's hit OK. So under the project, we're going to go and find the file we just downloaded. You just want to make sure you click and drag it into your project section. Now under projects and some dead space, we're going to right click and then click new item and we're going to go to sequence. So I already have a preset made for YouTube, but if you don't have this, we can just go under settings and let's just look for, we can do HDV 720p. It does not need to be high quality at all because it's going to get compressed. We can rename this to sheesh alert, whatever name you would like to make it. Let's hit OK. And we're going to want to drag the clip onto the track. The two things that I want to do is one, I want to zoom this into myself. In Premiere Pro, you can just double click. And then if you just drag. The secondly is I want to crop it closer to me. So personally for alerts, I don't like my follow alerts to be too long. But for things that don't happen as frequently, like subs, donos, etc. It's OK if those alerts are a little bit longer just to add in the hype. So I actually crop my alert to literally one second pretty much. <laughs> Once we're done with this, we just hit Control M and this will open up our output or our render queue. So let's just hit Q. So here I have my media encoder. Once we're done, we're just gonna click the play button to go and fully render this. And now we're just gonna look up MP4 to GIF converter. In Premiere Pro, you cannot actually output a video file as a GIF you have to go through a third party source. There is a very long winded way that involves exporting each image sequence, like each frame as images and opening them up in Photoshop because Photoshop can output or export as a GIF, but it's really complicated. This is way easier. So we're gonna go and open up our file and just click and drag it to upload video. Then we're just gonna go and hit convert to GIF and you just wanna hit save. I hate the way this looks being replayed. Now we're gonna look up MP4 to MP3 converter. There's two ways you can do this. You can do it through a third party software or you can convert it within Premiere Pro. I'm just kind of lazy. This is easier for me personally. Once again, I'm going to go drag my sheesh alerts and then hit convert. The reason you do this is when you are uploading alerts, the video footage, the GIF uploads separately from the audio. You cannot upload a video with audio to it because it, the audio wouldn't play. We're just going to hit download here. Now we're going to go to whichever program that we have our alert box linked to. So for me personally, my alert box is linked with Streamlabs. If you're trying to download Streamlabs OBS, you can also download through the link down below. Full disclosure, I get like a little bit every single time somebody downloads through my link. So 
you're helping support this YouTube channel. But we're just gonna go and log in and log in with whatever platform that you use. I'm gonna go over here to alert box and we're gonna go under whichever setting we want to change. So I wanna change my follow alert. So we're gonna click follows. Now we're gonna click the square with the arrow in it and under uploads, we're gonna go and drag our GIF in here. Please ignore my other GIFs. Make sure you double click it. And then now I have the sheesh as my gift same thing for the audio we're gonna click the square again and you want to drag and drop your audio file we uh -huh. click that it sounds so gross and we're gonna hit select now once you are done you just want to hit save settings and there we go sorry the audio might be a little bit hard to hear because the sound of me like clicking my tongue is a little bit quiet but that is quickly how you can go and take a clip and then turn it into an alert for your stream this doesn't just work with twitch clips you can literally do this with any video footage that you have out there the just trick is you need to go and turn it into a gif and then an mp3 separately and then add those together it's really weird how that works but this is how you can do it once you get the hang of it you can go and change all of your lyrics to go make them really cool meme gifs and sound alerts so if you found this video helpful i would appreciate it if you again like and subscribe and if you would check me out on my other socials down below, I do streaming advice everywhere. I also have an Etsy in which I sell emotes and overlays, whatever you would want for your streams. And I also have a coffee full of free resources for streamers and content creators. I also stream on Twitch three days a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays at 7 p.m. PS. So I hope to catch you guys there or in another one of my YouTube videos. Peace.